So, I guess uh, this season, I'm basically led to, you know, talk about job-related uh, teachings. Job-related teachings. So, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Lately, I've been making videos about how to deal with authority figure at the workplace, how to deal with uh, pushy uh, co-workers, pushy employees, and people that envy you because of your work ethics, uh, managers, supervisors, shift leaders, or whatever you want to call them, uh, those who don't know how to talk to others without disrespecting, taking things personal. That's what I've been led to do uh, lately throughout the season. And if you're, if you're not working, if you don't know anything about working, or if you don't have these issues working for people and around others, then the, these videos is not for you. Once again, I'm not here to ear tickle. Uh, 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 I'm not a passive teacher. I don't sugarcoat. And I speak from my heart and I try to be respectful with my teachers because I'm a direct teacher. I speak from my heart and I speak direct with respect. I get loud because I, 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 I'm still human and I have emotions behind my teacher because I mean it from my heart. But anyway, getting that all out the way. So, people. If you are working and you know you are doing things that you shouldn't be doing, like if you have flaws with how you make your food or how you're pulling pallets or whatever it may be, and the top dog, the owner or whoever comes around to correct you, then be corrected. You know, take it, take it for what it is. And just get on your business, right? Okay. We get that. You know, if I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing or if I got a flaw with something, man, here come the big dog. Here come the head. And I'm not talking about a, a, a regular supervisor. I'm talking about the people that's over the supervisor, CEOs or whoever, regionals, district managers or whoever. When they come around unannounced and they catch a slipping. And they get and they let you know, look, you got to get it together, uh, put your gloves on, or don't pull the pallet that way, you're not doing it, you know, or whatever. If they give you that pull up or if they let your supervisor know what you're wrong, get respectfully. If they do it in, out of respect, then take it for what it is. Take take it for grain of salt, take it for what it is, and get on your business, tighten up your grip. You know? Now, on the other hand. On the other hand, if these uh, authority figures, leaders come around and they want to come around to to be to use their authority as a scare tactic, that's different. If if these type of authority figures come on the scene and they want you to be walking on eggshells. Or they always nitpicking. Or they single you out from this other type of group. And they always coming at you. And they disrespectful. Or they got this little snippiness upon their tone. About how they want to give you a pull up. Or where you're wrong at or whatnot. That's different. See I'm here to give a pull up on those who makes mistakes with their positions. Of authority, and as regular employees at a, at a, uh, at the workplace, I have a problem. I don't care what position you have. I tell it to the president face if he if he got some flaws with how he's communicating with people. I don't care what position you have. If you are very disrespectful and rude. And obnoxious when you feel you, you may have to talk to a, an employee that's lower than you, a lower standard than you, and you feel that you got to come all off kind of sassy and snippy 
We have a problem. I'm not arguing the reason you may give me a pull up or others a pull up. I'm I'm just gonna speak on my on my behalf then. I'm not arguing or could be upset if someone is giving me a pull up about my flaws. I have no problem with that. That's the only way you're going to learn. That's the only way you will get better if, if the head or whatnot is telling you to not do this or do that or whatnot. I have no problem with that. Oh, buddy, I have to listen. I have to, I have to follow in order to teach and in order to lead. But my problem... My problem is how people talk to you. How people give you a pull up. I have a problem with that. Don't hide in a respectful way to this type of person or culture or race. And then... Looking at me snippy, talking about, uh, 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 you got to stand up, don't lean, put your hair up and all that. It's the way people talk to you. I have a problem with that. I'm grown. I'm not no kid. And if I have a flow, then let me know that, but let me know in a respectful, in a respectful way. In a more than adult way. Don't talk to me like I'm one of your kids. Don't talk to me like I'm a teenager. Don't do that. I didn't give you a reason to, to talk to me that way. I could see if I was a dodo. Who keep doing the same thing over and over. And even in the, and even if so, you still shouldn't be doing that. You still shouldn't talk to another adult the way you do. Now, if if I'm if I if I'm consistently doing things against the policy or whatever, like I'll just say, for instance, picking the food up with no no tongs and picking it up with your hand, you catch me. Pull me in the office and say, look, I'm out the right to work because I ain't told you over and over. You know, this is getting out of hand. That's different. But if if I'm just saying, I don't do that, y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm using it as an example. If somebody is constantly doing something they shouldn't be doing at the workplace, after you engage them consistently pull-ups, that's different. But still talk to them respectfully and, and, and bring it up a notch on a disciplinary action. That's understanding. But you, if you just met me and you see a flaw, you don't come at me like that. You don't come at me because of your authority. I don't care what authority you have. I don't respect no one if they don't respect me. I, I'm, I, you know, come on. Every black person is not ghetto and ignorant and trashy. Now, you know where I'm going with this. So, I'm an adult. I said, you know what? I have a problem with this person. I'm going to pull this person to the side. I don't care who they are. CEO, ABC, WXYZ, headquarters. I don't care who you are. When you disrespect me and you come off and you send this little personal signal that you don't like me. I don't know if it's because of the color of my skin or because of the way I dress. Or once again, intimidating. I don't know. But we we going to get we gonna get a little... We're going to have a little personal meeting right here. You're going to have to talk to me a little better than that. Especially since you just met me. I'm, I'm speaking for those who can relate to this. Now, if I'm talking to you or while I'm talking to you one-on-one -on -one after what just happened, when you talk to me kind of sassy, and within the conversation, you, you make a statement saying, if I wanted to disrespect, I could have done that. Bam! There we go right there. This is what I'm talking about. See, I have discernment. I already know BS for what it is. Or for what it was. What the hell you mean? Excuse my French, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting real with this. What the hell you mean? If you wanted to be disrespectful or if you wanted to have an attitude, you would have done that. Just by you making a statement like that tells me that that's what it was all about. No, you cannot if you felt you could or would have. That's why we're talking right now one on one. That's the problem I have with you right now. My discernment tells me that you was personal with, with the way you was talking to me on how I need to 
need to be corrected. See, it's it, you can't say, oh, it's just business. No, that was personal, ma'am. You can't use that as a cop out for your actions when you talk to an employee. Come talk about this just business. I'm about business. No, that was totally unprofessional. It was not business, it was personal. I have a problem with people who take things personal with me. And I'm going to pull you to the side let you know I got something to say to you. And I do it the best way I can respectfully. Huh? But just for the fact when someone who you pull to the side and talk to, giving direct eye contact. Oh, buddy, it was on. Eye contact. See, eye contact says a lot too when you're talking to someone. We both giving each other eye contact, direct eye contact. You serious, I'm serious. But I know you're personal. This ain't business with you. And since it's personal with you, it's personal with me. Eye to eye contact. I see you, I read you, and I'm listening. For the fact that someone could say, who has this top-notch authority, come talk about if I wanted to talk to you disrespectful, if I wanted to have an attitude, I would have. Just by someone or just by you making a statement like that lets me know and tells me that you have an ego problem. And the way you came off gave me that discernment that you was personal with how you came and how you felt about me. We're not having this one-on-one for nothing. See, I already know what I'm going through is a spiritual warfare. I'm not afraid of no one. I don't care who you are. I don't care what position you have. You look at me and, and disrespect me. I don't know if it's because of the color of my skin or because of the position. But then again, someone who got the same position as me, you just smiled at him and said something, said like that, whatever, and carried on. And then looked at me with contempt and felt comfortable with the way you talk to me. But I have to clear things up. You don't know me. So I have to introduce myself to you personally, one-on-one. Because once again, if I have a problem with you, I'm coming at you. I'm coming at you. Yeah, I do have a problem. I, I, yeah, I do want to talk to you. I don't care who you are. And see, that's another thing, people. I keep trying to tell people, don't be afraid to talk to people one-on-one. Quit being afraid to talk to the head. I keep trying to tell you, you got to go for the head. Quit being afraid to talk to people when you have a problem with them. These folk that's like that, they want you to be afraid of them. Oh, buddy, not the set apart ones. These people want you to fear them. They want you to be on edge when they come around. They want you to walk on eggshells, not more. Respect goes both ways. Hallelujah. I don't care who you are, who you think you are, who you want to be. Like I said, I have no problem with fixing my flaws. I have no problem with once when uh, uh, authority say, hey, K, look, you know, you need to do this now. Or, no, nah, you messed up right there. No, do this and do that. That's cool. I can feel when it's coming from a business perspective and respectful. And, look, I'm just trying to help. Cool. But if you if you snippy behind your, your pull-up, no, no, you can't talk to me like I'm a 10 year old. No, I ain't give you, I don't know you, and you don't know me. You can't do that. I don't feel comfortable doing that to people I just met, all right, because of my authority. Hey, look, check this out. I'm going to need you to go on and put your shirt in your pants. Hey, how you doing? All right, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is not, this is business. This is just business. Huh? No, you're not talking to me like, don't care what's going on. And the reason why I do what I do, I nip things in, in the bud with people first off. So when the second time you see me, you will know how to talk to me. This is not about trying to intimidate somebody. This is not about trying to scare somebody. This ain't about none of that, y'all. It's about respect. If you keep loaning these people, them, 
the opportunity to keep disrespecting you. That's feeding their ego to continue on feeling they can treat you like that. And it, may, it, it validates them to feel better about their position. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get to go over at this store right here. You know, they bat out at me. They walk on eggs at me. They laugh when it ain't funny when I tell a little joke. When I roll my ass at that person, everybody else shake their head like they agree with my decision on how I treated that person. No, I don't roll like that. I don't I don't get out like that. Not at all. When someone is doing something they shouldn't be doing, tell them where they wrong at, but do it respectfully. Do not let someone know how you feel about them personally in front of everybody. If you have a personal problem with someone this is to anybody who got authority or no authority at their workplace if you have a problem with someone personally you're supposed to pull them to the side and talk to them personally one-on-one -on -one. but see here's the shebang you can't do that if it's a race issue oh oh you can't pull somebody to the side and say my problem with you is because you're black my problem with you is because you're Hispanic. I got something to tell you to put it to the side. What's up? My problem with you is because you're gay. Huh? My problem with you is because you're a transgender. My problem with you is because you're a Jamaican. You got dreadlocks and it look ghetto. My problem with you is because... I just feel some type of way with you because you, you, you intimidate me. You, those, those type of problems could get you in trouble. Huh? Those are not things that has broken the workplace policy. That's discrimination. Huh? I told you. On this paper trail, if you have a problem with me, workplace bullies, of authority if you have a problem with KK and if it's something against me breaking the policy come talk to me and you better talk to me like you got some sense if it's not nothing that I know and that you know that is nothing I've done against the policy and you come at me on some personal about uh, a personal thing with me my race my dreadlocks or anything that's not Consider with the workplace policy, then get ready for a lawsuit. 